welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Rusty Hydra. This is Rust Console Edition and we're currently playing on my server 9 to 5 Workers United. Uh, we're about to start raid weekend here in about 15 minutes. So I'm just getting uh, the event set up, getting the live stream started, uh, and getting all of the uh, um, getting everything, all of the uh, invites sent out. So everybody has it. Uh, making sure my mic is working. My mic is working, and we're good to go. That's done, that's done, that's done. Um. If you file the on aisle, try, but I just had surgery. Uh, if you just had surgery, man, don't worry about hopping on. I want I to go. go. You want to though. Hey man, if you're feeling up to it. Um absolutely. But only feel if you're feeling up to it. Alright, so Put this one right here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Eighty seven point five, forty four, three eight four point seven, three eight four point seven. You gotta love it when there's no negatives. If we don't get wiped, I plan on buying a couple skins from you tomorrow. Absolutely, man. So I'll do a whole, a whole um, set for a hundred credits, and then if you want extras on top of that, I usually get pretty good deals. Oh, of course, this one's negative. Negative 127.4, 4, I guess this one will have to go here. Uh, by itself. Negative sixty nine 
point one, forty-four point three, one eight nine point one. Ah, uh, they're all negatives. Negative twenty three point one fifty six point seven two thirty nine point five. I really wish they would add a way to where I just point and spawn. That would be pretty awesome. Two thirty nine point nine. That's one, two, three, four. That's eight. <sighs> Fifteen minutes. on. 
unhackable. This bomb rip's hitting me, so I'm gonna try to hop online. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Alright, negative. One, two, seven. Point. Four. 44.3 You know what, that's going to be uh, the long way. So we're going to do something else. We're going to go didn't want to do this. Server restart needed for update. No, thank you. So, boom. Let me do boom. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Over here at Air Force Sue. <laughs> Leave Sue out of this. She's a nice lady. Sue is a very nice lady. She taught, oh. she taught me some very valuable things. I'm gonna buy my inventory, then I'm gonna buy burger airdrops. Yeah, only do, only do like, I don't know, ten this time. Five each. Drop them in the middle. I was actually thinking about spawning in um, a couple of heli crates, but the problem is with those is they can just be picked up and taken away right away. Yeah, you should probably just take it away. We could unload it. Yeah. All right. Go out 
to get where you are. Right. on pvp is officially started and then Take i can do well i i couldn't kill you in here anyway you gotta go over here yep yeah i love it when the bot works <coughs> okay, so PvP is officially started. Um, and then I'm going to do command. Why do you put four up there? As always, we'll start a heli as well. Spectate players, my friend. Spectate players. I will spectate players as soon as they get in here. As soon as people start. Okay. I'm going to spend the majority of... One here. I'm going to try and spend the majority of um, this event spectating people. I'm going to try and... Uh, Stick to where the action is. So, so a heli somewhere on the map, I think. Maybe not. Oh, yep, yeah, here he comes. And then when we can, which I think will be here in a minute, um, we should be able to spawn another helicopter on me, because I always spawn in two. I probably could if you're in cooldown, aren't you? I'm in cooldown, yeah. You want me to? Sure. We'll just, we're in the middle of the map, we'll spawn it here, and then wherever it goes, it goes. And then I'm going to start spectating people as soon as someone gets a kill. Uh, it's being cooled down too. When you do it. Hmm? It's me and cool down too when you do it. Oh, okay. How many on? Um. How many are on? Uh, currently 33. <coughs> we don't currently have a ton on right now, but a lot of them are very dedicated.
look at that how it came over here anyway. <coughs> is that another one coming from under the ground? Yep, it is. <coughs> Alright, we're good for alleys. <coughs> <coughs> Fly around, take a look I at some vanish. <coughs> oh, we gotta do ratings. Oh, I'm gonna do that after. Oh, we've got this one going. <coughs> no one's been brave enough to go up there yet. This one's going. <coughs> and this one's going. So, it's not. so it looks like we've got three of the outer perimeter ones going. These just went out. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Attachments. Attachments. Ooh, rocket C4. <coughs> and is there another crate somewhere? I don't know, but there is a rocket C4 crate. It's still very early into wipe weekend. I wouldn't worry too much about your base right now. Your base is probably okay. Can we come now? Absolutely, yes. The PvP event is on. On the way. Just waiting for that first kill. I know there are people in here and around, but where they are nobody knows yet nobody's been brave enough to climb that central tower yet though Someone making a break for it. <coughs> Let's start the airdrops. Yep. Throw a couple of couple down. <coughs> the event's probably going to last just over an hour, hour and a half, so throw them down whatever you like. <coughs> Maybe you can do an extra five. <coughs> Aiming for the run life. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> are lined up. Very nice. Yeah, so you can do another eight more on your next drop. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm going to hang out down here a bit. Oh, somebody went and got it. Now, if you're smart, you get the hell out of here. Go, mm. de go depot it. Got some fighting going on at this end. in the kill feed. Yeah, I didn't I just noticed that. Kosher. Hey, What's up, killer? How you doing, buddy? Oh, he's gonna blow himself up if he's not careful. Oh, man. Hell, he's in love with kosher right now. He's in there. Oh, there we go. Caught up. Still feeded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to turn the bot off and then back on again. Ellie is just in love with kosher right now. He cannot catch a break. He's fighting Heli and the fucking dudes below him. Flashed himself. Got loot happy. Uh how they got him, did he? he goes. How are we looking at here? Definitely. Or 
We're doing a first person spectator event. Oh, he's under the stairs. Did he see him? He's under the stairs. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, and Kosher came back for the win. Tell he's gonna beat his mom, say. That's okay. I wanna bust it down. Oh, yeah, okay. You want to do that? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> that was fast. Beautiful landed. Where the crates are. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Let's actually get a perspective on those <coughs> let's see what's in here grenades and tommies not bad Another one over there at M. Oh, that one's got C4. More C4. Yeah, there's some really good crates out here. We'll get a third person for just a minute. Oh, we got a wolf chasing a bear. Or a bear chasing a wolf. Two two bears chasing a wolf. Two bears chasing a wolf. Did you that the wolves? wolf is fucked. I've seen like fifty loaves. Well, I have not up uh up the wolves, no. I mean maybe a little bit over I'm hearing someone else's uh, footsteps again. So that's all right. <laughs> all right, they're dipping with some loot. Smart. Go depot, come back. Anyone else brave enough to come and What do we got left on these crates, by the way? Oh, this one's open, ready to go. This one's got 11 minutes. Somebody got this one already. Nice. Open and ready to go. Oh man, they left a little early. That's got some good stuff in it. Mr. Sniper.
Oh, there you are. That's not good. Let's go back to kosher. Although this isn't great either. And they're leaving. Bunch of lag going on right now. Mm -hmm. It's like their servers can't handle it on a Friday night. <laughs> There's three unlocked raids. I touched. Alright, this is okay, I guess. This is watchable. Got a little bit of loot. Not quite a bit. And he's out. airdrop path again. I think the lag's mostly gone now. Although I'm still hearing his footsteps, that's funny. They didn't fix that. No, they did not. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's still a bunch of locked crates that have been untouched. I do believe the one up here is still good. Are the four up on the top of that main tower there? Are they still... Yeah, they're untouched. They're untouched. There's so. no way this guy called a airdrop on his base right next to him. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm pretty sure there's still a couple in some of the towers. There's still four up there. Two in the middle are gone. Pretty sure the two helis have been taken, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're not. Attachments, bullets. Apparently those attachments aren't good enough for him. <laughs> it's alright. We're gonna have... So, on this wipe, we still have another... I believe it's two weeks. Um, actually, let me... So we have two more, well, one more raid weekend, and then we have uh, Anarchy Purge Week, which will be the last full week of uh, this wipe, and then two more raid weekend. Uh, one more regular raid weekend, and then the, the final. The next raid weekend after that, we'll start off Purge uh, week. So that'll be an entire week of PvP, Anarchy, do whatever you want. And then on Friday, April 26th, when we would normally go into raid weekend, um, I'm going to do fresh map wipe, fresh BP wipe, fresh everything wipe. Friday, April 26th, will be fresh everything light, and then we'll have two extra days of PvE. Do a lot of seed research a couple days in advance. Yeah, exactly. Use my server. Mm -hmm. And then because next month I'm pretty sure we're going to get con new content, and there's going to be a content update, um, it's going to end up wiping our map a couple days early. So I'm going to hold like a, <coughs> a raid final week, because <coughs> uh, it'll, it'll wipe on Thursday. <coughs> so that final weekend will be like a raid weekend. Our final final three days will be an extra rating. <coughs> <coughs> and then we'll get another three days of uh, PvE. <coughs> but that'll help too because then you'll get you already have uh, almost a month of BP research. 
so it'll be easier to get to the new stuff faster. <coughs> Here come the airdrops. Couple of new, couple of new fellows on the server. Infamous Sash and our Bloomer. Good one. Those pistols are good. Kosher. Some snipers, sniper shots. <laughs> Get a little lag with him. on a Friday night like this guy's <laughs> this guy's just standing in his base and it's laggy <sighs> uh... yeah I'm afraid to spectate I don't want to glitch out on me yeah it's not great right now Try to spectate people's kits. Oh, somebody actually went up and started all those. Oh, it's these boys. Okay. Who's being annoying with that pesky sniper? Could be a lot of good loot up there. This one's definitely gone. This one's. Ooh.
I never find his name. There it is. Doesn't look good. Oh, wait, it's on Friday nights. Oh, he almost had him. Boys up here still holding it down. Okay, yeah, so that one's definitely gone. This one's gone. Looks like the fight over there is done. This one's gone. Alright, we just have the four up in the middle. There's a couple of attachments in there. Ooh, not bad. All right, final four. Can anybody get them? Sorry, raiding a uh, ego base. Yeah, I saw that. That is smart. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see you've already depoted a couple of times. Wow. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I would have been silent about it. I'm about to use a whole C4. Yo. <laughs> I heard a bunch of booms going off over there. <laughs> yeah, so we'll uh, finish off the event. Bit of a quicker one this week. Uh, finish off the event, then I'll quickly go around and I'll do um, a base tour. And I'll rate that base! Oh god. <laughs> 36.
Oh, I think we got a contender. We have a challenger. Dun dun dun. Brave souls going to try and get it. We shall see. <coughs> oh god. Might get it. See what he's holding. Oh, I gotta come. <coughs> Let's come watch. <coughs> Never mind. <laughs> <coughs> I'm supposed to throw that, then go up. <coughs> or he was holding them, yeah. Would have been easier to pick up with a grenade. Mm. They were both right there. <coughs> so, got two minutes, 22 seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> There's like five depot bases. going on over here. <coughs> oh, looks like they're sealed. This audiobook thing is sucks. Like, I can hear when they're drinking, I can hear when they're dropping things. One yeah, minute. Yeah, that's why we're not to spectate right now. I'm gonna spectate you for a second. Uh, but you have to come out of Vanish. Alright. I'm out of it. Yeah, it's pretty smooth for you. seconds folks oh there's at least there's some c4 in that one <laughs> Got some contesters yeah Killed himself. Yep. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> I 
I don't know if these guys know that this is open or not yet. Or maybe they're just holding for now. Up he goes. <laughs> Can you get up onto this roof? I don't think that you can. You can jump off the side. Oh, jump off of that onto there. Mm. That's what I did when we got killed by the thing. Alright, now can they make it out is the question. Not know there was a guy in the tower. Just came up there and got him. Oh, there's gonna be some loot left up here. Oh yeah, four C four. That's got some stuff. Uh oh. That was kind of silly. Mm. I was gonna say, is kill feed stop working? No, there it is. <laughs> this for it right here. I thought there was noon left low. <laughs> yeah, one guy. Oh, he just threw a C4. Are you cr crazy? <laughs> Hug the C4. <laughs> this blue guy is uh, something else, let me tell you. I wouldn't be chucking C4, but okay. <laughs> a bow and a Tommy, huh? <laughs> Maybe I would be chucking C4. He's <laughs> got a pile of guns around him. I know. P5 laying on the ground. Oh, we got someone else coming in. Ooh. Oh, I think that was his... I think that was his teammate. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. He died again. Yeah, it was. Gotta help your buddy, Blue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just made it out in time. 
we've got quite the standoff here. <clears throat> God, drop something for him, please. <clears throat> That's dangerous. <coughs> <coughs> they can't go up, but he can't go down. <coughs> oh, you got him. Got him. <coughs> uh, I don't know. There might be some other people coming in at the last minute. They still have to get out of this tower. They are now in the same position the last guys were in. Will they make it out? Who knows? We'll find out here in a minute. Oh, you were up there and got him. Good job, gentlemen. Alright, well, I think that concludes the end of the event. That's pretty much everything I would, I would imagine. Yeah, there's, there's not really much left. Although, if you want to scavenge, you can go for it. Um, okay, so, let's go do... A base, um, fly around. So let's start up here at the fishing village, and we'll work our way around. All 
All right, so uh, we'll go along the coast, and then we'll head to the interior. Uh, I can't really see this base, but I love it. Strictly on the creativity. It's got a cool little china wall. Got some wind turbines. Um, I'm going to give this a 7.5. I like the fact that it's built in the trees like this. It's pretty cool. It's going to make raiding it hard. Alright. It's an interesting design. But I like it. What do we have over here? Not entirely sure what this is. Oh, this is a store. Vending machines. Awesome. I was wondering why there was uh, holes in the wall. Hmm. Cool little base. I'm sure that's their boat section. It's got to be furnaces, right? I mean, they got everything here. Um, again, I'll give it a 7.5. I like this. Alright, I'll continue on. Somebody's got a nice heli base. Oh boy. Sorry, I forgot about this chonker. So yeah, this is about as big as a, of a base as you want to go. Uh, just saying. And I've got to give this one. I'm going to give this one an 8.5. I really like the base design and I also like the china wall. It's pretty slick actually. You know what, I'm going to... I'm actually going to give this a 9. I really like this one. I think this is a well thought out. The inner layers there. Yeah, I like that. that that's, a, that's a good 9. Moving on. Okay. I like the layering effect with the uh, stone walls there. Not as big of a fan as the other one. <coughs> if the other one's a 9 though, this one's a solid 8. I like this. A lot going on up here, though. It would have to depend on how usable that is, but... Hmm. I like it. Uh, we'll go check out that one in a minute. Here's a little itty-bitty guy. But it's got all the stuff that it needs. Uh, that's, a, that's a solid... Ooh. That's a solid 4 or 5. 4.5. Got everything. Like the space there. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I, I I will give it a five, just because everything was well thought out. Everything was well placed. It's got the externals. Hey, tell people where they are. <laughs> nice. 
No, I like it. And it's got the enclosed furnace base. Yeah, that's a solid five. For a solo base, uh, that's that's a good uh, eight and a half. For a solo, yeah, that's great. All right, let's see what we got going on on the island here. Uh, wow. So, technically, you shouldn't really be taking over the whole island. Um, but because it's only one layer of compound and no one else will be able to build here anyway, uh, we'll kind of let that slide. But for the base overall, holy shit. Yeah, this is easily, this is easily a nine, this is easily a nine, yeah, this is, this is a solid nine, I like this, but holy moly, the upkeep on that must be kind of nuts, and again, one layer of compounds, they have the whole island, that's cool. So what you see here, folks, is the biggest you should get. Anything bigger than this, and it's like this, like the like that other base. This plus one layer of compound, that's okay. But wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, solid nine. All right, what have we got going on over here? Alright, alright. It's a work in progress. So for now I'll give it a... For now I'll give it a 6. It's definitely a work in progress, but I like it. It's pretty good. Anything going on over here? Okay, okay. Needs a little bit more upgrading and a little bit more work. Oh, also, I'll give this a six as well. Well thought out. Here's a good build spot. Anything over here, just in case? No? Okay. Where's that symmetry at? A little heavy on externals, but the base itself is... Solo struggle. I'll take a six. Hey, six is good. Six is above average. <laughs> so, for a solo, a six is very good. This is just interesting altogether. It's not symmetrical. It's not symmetrical at all, but it doesn't have to be symmetrical to be to be cool. It's interesting, though not as pleasing to the eye. I don't know what these things are, but I kind of <laughs> like them. For the gatehouses. I think that's a really... Yeah, that's a really smart design. I like it. Um, this will get a 7. 7.5, actually, because I do like these. Uh, these are unique, and uh, so is the these walls. So, yeah. This will get a 7.5. I really like this. This is pretty creative. Again, maybe a little heavy on the externals, but... Kind of like the island there. Nobody can really build there anyway. So... I kind of get it. 
Uh, what do we got going on here? Oh, wow. Okay. They really got built up pretty good. I really like these turret pods here. It's really great coverage. Though I think they could have been pulled forward more a little bit. Do they have the double chain link? Oh, I think they do. Uh, again, we get another, another 7.5 here. The turret pods make it, give it that 0.5. I really like that. It's a pretty chunky design too, actually. I kind of like the shooting floor. And the roof. Oh, whoa. I won't exactly go down too far, but this is pretty... Okay, you instantly just got yourselves an 8, whoever you are. Nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure you guys are watching. If you guys are watching, shoot twice. Alright, if I can come down, shoot twice. If not, let off a mag. Yeah, okay. This is cool. Okay, this instantly makes it... Yeah, actually, I think it just went from 7.5 to an 8.5. This is cool as fuck. I like this. I've never seen anything like this before. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Yeah, 8.5. 8. That's cool as shit. God, I really, I really like that. I actually do really like this. Actually, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a nine. This is just as cool as that other big base. It's just in a slightly different way. This definitely gets a nine. I Red really, I really like this. Good job, fellas. That's fucking. That's pretty sweet. All right, what do we got going on over here? Low. Your roof is sick as fuck, bro. Not gonna lie. All right, we got a little guy over here. I like it. Some work has been put into it. I'll give this cute little guy like a like a four. Three and a half. Three and a half. They're working on it. What have we got going on here? Uh, we got some twig. <laughs> Hopefully nobody absolutely destroys that. Anybody over here? Nobody's on this snow island. Oh, I saw that though. <coughs> okay, still needs some work. It's made of wood. Get the three. 3.5 because of its location. Alright. Pretty generic. Although, kind of cool shooting floor up on the roof. We'll give it a 7. It's fully built out. It's, it's kind of cool. It's a 7. What else we got going on around here? <laughs> By the way, these are just my opinions. Who who am I? And I'm just going off purely off aesthetics and how cool I think it is, not how strong I think they are. Although 
that does kind of have a, a small factor in it. Got a work in progress. Yeah, the snow's kind of dead this uh, this wipe, and f kind of for good reason because there's not much really down here on this end of the map. So there's no real reason to be down here, especially since oil's up there. I thought I'd give you guys a break from the the snow this wipe. Although next wipe, harsh conditions all the way. I'm gonna put everything in the snow. See this one? That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a little. Dang. That's a three. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting shooting for someone's home. Looks like another kind of maybe a solo base. I'm not sure. I would give this. I'd give this another six. Comparatively, it's actually pretty neat. It's pretty nice. It's got a cool, cool shooting floor too. I like this tower. Pretty unique. Okay. It's a solid five. This is a this is a solid five right here. A little solo base, but it's got everything. It's got a shooting floor, it's got turrets, it's got the compound walls, it's got the external TCs. This is a solid five right here. Um, did we see this one? No. Oh. We got another six. Uh, maybe a 6.5. Though I'm not liking the windmill placements. They're too close to each other. But I like that everything here is symmetrical. We'll say it, we'll say a 6.5. Because it, it is well thought out. It's got the externals, the disconnectables. Yeah, 6.5. I like, that's pretty good. Holy moly, what is this? This got big too. Man, some people really went big this way. Holy shit. Okay, well, I gotta give it the same as the other ones. I gotta give it a 9. Alright. Though, so I'm really actually... The more I like... The more I'm on the inside of this... The more I'm really liking this. I like the wa the bridges. I love the roofs here. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, all three of them are really. The other one, 
with the cool roof. That one's definitely a nine. But these, but between this one and that other one with the, with the curved outside china wall though. Man, that's going to be. I, re I really like this. This is just really clean. I think I'm actually going to give this one my favorite. This is a 9.5. This one's definitely my favorite of the white. This is some pretty cool china walling. This must be ridiculous to upkeep, but... These... Oh, I didn't even see this. I mean, this does make it a little easier to get in with these, but still... I like that. This is a clean china wall right here. Yeah, this is a 9.5 for sure. Wow. Alright. Oh, I didn't see this. Got a stone beauty here. A little bit more work, a little bit more upgrading. this uh give this a six a little more work a little more upgrading that could probably be a seven seven point five depending on how they do their um, external wall and we're back up here again all right now let's take a look through the middle of the map see what's around here We'll take a flight, take a gander. The wild blue yonder. Um, someone's working on something or something decayed there. Yeah, I think I might actually go back to that roof and hang out there for a couple of minutes because that was pretty cool. Oh, by the way, we got my um, the power setups for everybody. I rebuilt them. So you guys can all get an idea. Um, this is just your regular light system can run five lights one solar panel this is the auto lights so only when this is receiving full power um, will the lights be off and then when this stops receiving full power when it starts to get dark your lights will turn on um, this is the minimum requirements to run a medium-sized battery on solar only four solar panels uh, all together Green line goes into the battery, blue line comes out, um, and then you can run whatever you want. Um, so you can run one, two, three, four turrets off of this, or a farm. Uh, this is how to run a large battery. Uh, this is eight, so you connect all eight together. Uh, into the large battery from the large battery to a switch and then you can do this um, and then you can run nine turrets off of this so you can run three six nine uh, using a splitter 
Um, but the better way to do that would actually to be uh, to run the OR blocker system. So you actually can reduce your solar panel usage by two, so you only need six solar panels. So six solar panels uh, all together into here, and then the power continues on into the OR switch, which then powers um, your switch, which then allows you to run the same nine turrets, but on six solar panels um, instead of uh, eight. And it also makes the battery a backup um, that you only use at night. So um, this is the OR blocker core. And then if you want to go a little bit more advanced um, and you want to start running off of uh, wind turbines, then this right here is the uh, NICOR. And I have two different versions of it set up. Um, I have the single version and the three battery version of it in front of you. So the single battery is actually uh, one wind turbine and one solar panel. Uh, south facing solar panel wind turbine at least 10 stories off the ground. Uh, it's going to go here, it's going to go into the memory cell from the memory cell to the OR switch and then through here. So it's basically exactly the same as here but we've added a memory cell between here and there. Um, so that's going to run everything and then if we're not producing enough power that power is then going to be sent out into the battery system. If you're only um, doing one battery then you hook this up directly to the battery and then from the battery uh, into this blocker and then continue on and then you can run again nine turrets off of this three off of each one of these um, and then you have a little bit of power left over to run a couple of lights um, if you want the three battery set up then you need to have um, you need to have three wind turbines uh, I mean sorry uh, four wind turbines and four solar panels which is going to produce way more power than you need and then those are connect connecting to here instead and then everything else uh, here is the same but then because we want to charge three batteries we then have to put it into a splitter that goes out to the batteries and then we have to combine those batteries power um, so we'll put two into one and then that one into another one and then in there and then into here so this is a one to three battery setup and this is if you're using wind because wind isn't reliable so it will drop below the amount that you need every now and then um, so if it does that then this is going to reroute the low power uh, into your batteries so you're both charging and discharging your batteries at the same time so if you were to run the exact same system off of this and you get into low power um, and you stay into low power then you only get four hours of battery backup if you do this and you're in low power you can get up to seven hours of battery backup so uh, this is the NICOR um, this is the megawatt this is a 12 battery system that uh, you can build in stages if you really wanted to so you're actually going to need uh, 12 wind turbines uh, and then four solar panels because your 12 wind turbines will produce more than enough power um, or you're going to need um, six and two so if you're doing six you just hook up these uh, and then into here if you're doing 12 then you do this and this will run your uh, 100 turrets. So this is basically the NICOR and the OR blocker core mixed together and then spread out. So this is your power intake. This is basically the NICOR uh, and this is the OR blocker core um, system. Um, if This is how to run a generator. You run your three power um, in, combine them, send them out, and, and away you go. You're running everything. Um, and then this is in order for to have your battery backup system. And then this is the four version or four generator uh, core version. Um, and this will also run you your 100 um, turrets, no problem. Uh, and this also has a light system. 
So these are the different ways that you can set up your power. I'm going to be making a video on these soon. Uh, but you guys can come check them out. They are right here. Admin no raid. Just beside the outpost. If you guys ever need to figure out how to uh, run power systems. So this is the best way to run your lights. You can run five lights. This is the most basic way of running power. Um, this is the better way of running power. This is the best way of running vanilla power. Uh, this is the best way to run um, spread out generator cores. Uh, and then this is just the best power system altogether if you're running a large base uh, and running all 100 turrets. Uh, which again, I will be making a video on this soon, but you guys can check that out But uh, that's not why you guys are here. So let's go back and continue uh, Checking to see if there's any more bases around that we may have missed I think we only got a couple more Okay, I like this it has everything solid five uh, we'll head away from the coast all right I don't know who did this but this is a 10 this is 100% a 10 whoever did this Sneaky cabbage. Sneaky cabbage. I love it. I hope that you're on the Discord. I'm going to try and find you. Uh, sneaky cabbage. What's it called? No one is allowed to raid the base alone. Okay, if anybody raids this base right here, they're getting a one week ban. <laughs> Nobody raid this base. This is a, my 10 out of 10 favorite. That's kind of neat, but it, it doesn't work where he has it placed. What is going on with this? You know what? I just thought about can I can I I don't know if he knows I'm in here. 
Come on, let me put this on the table. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I love that. That's an awesome skin. If I have a fridge skin, I don't have one of those yet. No, I have. I don't have wood door skins. Huh. dead guys on the floor. Oh, I hope that's the right way. I want, I want the polar, the polar bear, bear skin. skin. Polar bear skin. No, what are you doing? Turn it back on. I love this. I got a bunch of furnaces. Let's do a colorful one up front. 
Let's do another colorful one up front. Making sure it's all Making sure my buddy's got it all good. bunch of wood my friend love what you've done to the place all right well with that I'm going to uh, conclude this uh, base tour is there anybody uh, in chat that wants to know or needs to know anything, has any questions? I will be uh, happy to answer those. That power questions or server questions. This right here is uh, <coughs> my favorite. <coughs> it's nice and easy. The beauty of this too is you don't have to uh, uh, beauty of this is that you don't have to um, 
have extra switches or anything like that, like this one switch will run all of your turrets for you, no problem. But it's, uh, it's pretty good. Although... Active usage 10. Why are they fully activated? Oh, because I don't have it blocked. <laughs> There we go. I was wondering why that was doing that. But yeah, you gotta block <laughs> the power, otherwise they're being fully drained. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, this is like the bee's knees. Uh, the most condensed, the easiest to use um, all-around generator power watt system. This will run you all 100 turrets, no problem. Um, it'll also run you... Um, how many lights do I have this set up for? Uh, five lights. You could do more if you wanted to, but again, if you put them every second story in your base, um, and then that will leave you with uh, 25 power left over to play with. Well, technically 24 because this will eat one. So you have 24 power to play with. But yeah, this is, if you're using the generator, this is what you want to use. And technically, you don't even need all of this. But if uh, you don't use the battery backup system, then you're kind of, you're really limiting yourself. Uh, because as soon as your generators go, or if this wall goes, everything's destroyed. But if that goes, then this will take over. So you want to have these at opposite ends of your base. And this is far less important. This can go pretty much anywhere. But those go at opposite ends. 
and then if you want to spread your generators out and you want to have them in different uh, different spots of your base um, and you also want to be able to spread your batteries out too and then you put three batteries in a room with three splitters uh, and then three uh, blockers and then each blocker goes to an ore switch which you also have spread out throughout your base um, and then again you have all of your generator power being combined through here and then out so this is what's running everything most of the time and then this is only for backup so this is if you want to spread all four of them out or you want to buy one um, and then this is if you want to do all 12 well four generators one generator 12 turbines one to three turbines solar only solar only super easy auto lights regular lights again you guys can come down here and see how this is all built in and put together green it always goes to the battery blue always comes from the battery so if you're ever looking see green goes to the battery and then blue comes from the battery and then green goes to the battery blue comes from the battery and then this is optional so you could go this way and then through here that's if you're doing three if you're only doing one you can skip this and you can skip this if you're doing three you have to add this add this add this basically where these points will go Then I'm going to do farm setup, um, and then I'm going to extend this out even further. Um, and I'm going to do Tesla traps. I'm going to do automatic doors. Um, I'm going to do uh, a whole bunch of different systems for you guys to check out. And then I'm going to make one big long video on all of these. yeah come check it out anyway uh, thank you all for watching time to go do my adminning gotta go watch people make sure nobody's breaking the the few the few but needed rules and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one peace